All right. Good evening, everybody. It's a great day to be alive. God does all things well. The Easter's coming up this Sunday, and it's a good time to focus on the Lord. You know, God loves us more than we can imagine, more than we can comprehend. The question is, do we love him back? Do we love him back? He says, if we love him, we'll keep his commandments. He said, you are my friends if we obey him. See, this is about agape love. It is unbelievable. If you have any prayer requests, call them in. We'll pray for them tonight. We might not pray for them live on the TV, but we will pray for them after the show tonight. We will pray. We've got 30 minutes. We'll probably preach the whole 30 minutes, but if you have anything, call it in. We will pray over your prayer requests. All right, we're going to start off in prayer this evening. Heavenly Father, as we approach the throne of grace, Lord, forgive us for our sins. Have mercy on us. Lead God and direct us daily. Let your will be done in our lives, God. Lord, we also pray for our leaders that they be honest and Lord, that they live in peace and make the right decisions. Lord, we also pray for the sick, the people in the hospitals, the uh, shut-ins, the uh, nursing homes, uh, drug and alcohol and treatment centers. Lord, remember the people in the jails and the prisons. And Lord, we bind the strong man right now in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right. We're going to get started reading this evening out of the book of Genesis chapter 35 Genesis chapter 35 out of the King James Version Genesis chapter 35 out of the King James Version Genesis chapter 35 out of the King James and God said unto Jacob arise and go up to Bethel and dwell there and make there an altar unto God that appeared unto thee from thou fleddest from the face of Esau, thy brother. Then Jacob said unto his household and to all that were with him, put away the strange gods that are among you and be clean and change your garments. And let us arise and go up to Bethel and I'll make there an altar unto God who, who answered me in the day of my distress and was with me in the way which I went. <coughs> and they gave unto Jacob all the strange gods which were in their hand and all their earrings which were in their ears. And Jacob hid them under the oak which was by Shechem. And they journeyed in the terror of God and upon the cities that never around about them. And they did not pursue after the sons of Jacob. So Jacob came to Luz, which is in the land of Canaan, that is Bethel, he and all the people that were there with him. And he built there an altar, and he called the place El Bethel, because there God appeared unto him, where he fled from the face of his brother. But Deborah, Rebekah's nurse, <laughs> died, and she was buried beneath Bethel under an oak. And the name of it was called Alambacath, Alambacath. And God appeared unto Jacob again when he came out of Padanaram and blessed him. And God said unto him, Thy name is Jacob. Thy name shall not be called any more Jacob, but Israel shall be thy name. And he, he called his name Israel. And God said unto him, I am God Almighty, be fruitful and multiply, and nation and company of nations shall be of thee, and the king shall come out of thy loins. And the land which I gave Abraham and Isaac to thee, I will give it, and to thy seed after thee will I give it to the land. And God went up from him in the place where he talked with him. And Jacob set up a pillar in the place where he talked with him, even a pillar of stone, and he poured a drink offering thereupon, and he poured oil thereon. And Jacob called the name of the place where God spake with him Bethel. And they journeyed from Bethel, and there was but a little way to come to Ephraim, and Rachel travailed, and she had hard labor. And it came to pass when she was in hard labor that the midwife said to her, Fear not, thou shalt have this son also. And it came to pass as the soul was departing, for she died, that she called his name 
Ben Oni, but his father called him Benjamin. And Rachel died and was buried in the way to Ephrath, which is, is Bethlehem. And Jacob set a pillar upon her grave, that is a pillar of Rachel's grave, unto this day. And Israel journeyed and spread his tent beyond the tower of Adar. And it came to pass when Israel dwelt in that land that Reuben went and lay with Bila, his father's concubine, and Israel heard it. Now the sons of Jacob were twelve. The sons of Leah, Reuben, Jacob's firstborn, and the Simeon and Levi and Judah, and Eshachar and Zebulun. The sons of Rachel, Joseph, and Benjamin. And the sons of Bilhah, Rachel's handmaid, Dan and Nephtali. And the sons of Zilpath, Leah's handmaid, Gad and Asher. These are the sons of Jacob, which were born to him in Padanaram. 